Hi everyone, um, I'm just about to show you how I made this mixed media morsels page with homemade washi tape. Um, I did record the making of the washi tape but I've decided not to upload the video. Um, it's 20 to 25 minutes long, it's not completely edited um, yet and it's just very repetitive and long-winded. It's just lots of stenciling and, and stamping um, and as I say just just very repetitive so um, in the next part of this video I do explain how I made the washi tape I show you the stencils and the stamps and the inks etc um, that I've used and I talk you through the process um, but if anybody feels that they really need to see it visually then as I say I've still got the footage so um, please let me know anyway enjoy Hi everyone! Um, right, I've been busy making um, my um, homemade washi tape um, out of masking tape for mixed media morsels. Um, well, I can't remember what number it is, I'll put that in the description. Um, but what I did to create this was I put strips of washi tape, of masking tape, I couldn't find it then. This is um, an inch wide and I've put strips on a piece of parchment paper, as much as I could fit um, onto the, the sheet. Um, there's a tiny weeny sort of gap between them. Um, I'll put a link to Kat's video um, below as well. Um, and then I grabbed a load of acrylic paints um, in lots of different vibrant colours. You can see sort of all the colours beneath. And then I grabbed some of my stencils and I took, um, although you can see the flowers, I've got those here, I started off with these first. I went over with the green and some makeup sponges um, and just put various marks in random places. So I started off with that one. Then I added um, more marks with, with these two here <clears throat> and then finally went over with them um, with the dots. And then I let that dry. I dried it with my um, heat gun. And then I went in again um, with more um, of my stencils. This time just using um, various flower stencils. I use this one quite, quite a lot. Um, this is one of my favourite stencils. And I was asked in a previous video where I got this stencil from. And I thought it might be um, the Crafters Workshop, TCW. Um, but I couldn't find it on online anywhere and I have a feeling that this is one that I picked up from just a random seller um, at a craft fair at the Motorcycle Museum. Um, so I just haven't been able to track down um, what make this is. There's a guy that sells at the Motorcycle Museum and he just sells stencils four for five pounds. Um, and I've got quite a quite a few and I have a feeling that that's where that comes from. If anybody does recognise this and knows what it is, can you please leave a comment for me in the in the link below? Um, I'd find that really helpful. This stencil here is a Claudine um, Helmuth one. Let me just, that's not really helping much either, is it? But that's a Claudine Helmuth um, and I can't remember what, um, what this one is. Um, but if anybody wants to know, um, leave me a message and I'll try and try and find out for you. Uh, but that's one of the um, more well-known ones. And then I went over then um, with some stamps and I grabbed a load of my um, stamps here, bought ones and homemade. I used my Dilutions ones and I used these with various ink pads. I've got lots of these stays on inks in lots of different colours um, and I just started randomly um, stamping. I've got a couple of text stamps that um, I used to put some um, uh, marks on the page. I use this one quite a bit, you can see that um, there. Um, I used a couple of hearts. I've got this strawberry heart here and this solid heart so you can see, see the marks um, there. I used this one, um, you can see the marks that I've made. I used various um, bottle um, lids as well. So I used the um, Artiste, the Ducraft's um, uh, Neon Cerise Pink paint there. I used a lot of black as well. I used my butterfly stamp. Um, there you go, you can see, see butterflies in various places if you look hard. 
I also used some of my homemade stamps. These are the foam stamps from the kids' shapes that I mounted on pieces of, of credit card. That's a Claudine Helmuth one, um, and that one's a Dilusions Ranger um, stamp. And so I've just gone gone mad. I've overlapped as much as I possibly can, um, and that is how I achieved um, my page. Um, I started using some more paint at the end as well. I grabbed that um, stamp and started adding some more because I'd got some, um, some um, paint left over. But it's just a mixture of acrylic paint and ink um, and just as busy as I could possibly get it. So anyway, what I want to do now is make a page using my homemade washi. Um, so let me clear away some of these stencils and create some space for myself and then I'll come back. All right, I've cleared everything um, away um, and I've left um, all my things, my paint and everything out for quite a while because um, I got a phone call from Alex saying could I get him and um, everything's gone to pot and so my paint's all dried up. This is the palette that I used. Um, to create um, the washi tape. I've put it on that piece of plastic that I've been working on um, again and I've grabbed a baby wipe here. I've put a stencil um, underneath my page and I'm just going to try and use some of this paint and see. Um, it might be a bit too dry but let's let's see what we can um, use up and I'm just going to sort of create myself a bit of a, a background no, you see that's not working because can you see where the, the paper is starting to um, bead up? Let me just add some water and let's see if we can do anything with it. This isn't mixed media paper and, um, and so I'm just going to have to be a bit a bit careful. But let's, let's add some water to the page as well. Let's see if we can just... So I'm not going to get any impression from the flower stencil underneath. Um, you can see that that's not going to work. The, the, card, the paper that I'm using here on this page is just too too thick. Um, let's add some more. And I'm trying to sort of blend the colours in with plenty of, um, of white because I don't want it um, too dark. Let's see if we can do anything with, with that. We've got a bit of paper peel but um, we'll just work with that. It might actually be off the baby wipe, I don't know, so um, I'm not going to concern myself with it anyway. Right, there we go. So I'm just going to dry that and I'm just going to add a bit more water here and I'm going to go in with a slightly darker blue and um, just add a bit more interest to the page like this. There we go, and I quite like that. Now I'm just going to add some marks. I've got my um, Stays On ink here in the Hydrangea Blue and this is a piece of kids fun foam that um, I sandwiched in um, an embossing folder and put through my um, die cutting machine and it acts really well just as sort of like a a stamp and I don't want too much colour on this so I'm sort of putting some on and then I'm stamping it off on my drop sheet so that I've got sort of like the second pull of it if you if you like just because I want to add just a little bit of texture to my background but I don't want it to be too busy and too much So uh, just stamping and stamping some of it off. There we are, like this. It's of course leaving a really nice pattern on my um, drop paper too. So another one there and I'm happy with that. So there you go, if you um, haven't got many stamps but you have some embossing folders left over from um, your card making days. Make yourself some um, stamp pads. So there we go, that's just that and I've got a few of these. Let me show you. Um, I've got this one here which is um, butterflies and I've got this one here which is um, dragonflies. 
So that's how those were, were made. So I'm going to put that to one side for a minute because what I want to do now is bring my washi tape back and I've cut out um, some shapes. Um, that one, I've just folded a piece of paper in half and I've cut out a heart shape. And then I've got um, a flower that was cut um, from well, on my die cutting machine. But again, you can punch it or cut by, by hand, whatever you like. And then I've got a butterfly shape here that I also sort of cut on my die cutting machine. And then I'm just going to take some of this washi tape and I don't know whether to take it on the edge. Well, yeah, in fact, what I'm going to do first, because it's actually quite thick, I'm going to cut it in half to make some narrower um, washi. It's not going to be precise, but There we go, that should that'll be fine. And I think I'm going to do this with a, with a few of them. Right, so what I am going to do now is take a piece of washi. Just move that out of the way a bit. So I've got that. And then I'm just going to stick it on to my flower. Oh, and the waste I can just glue back down again. And then I'm just going to fussy cut um, around that with my little scissors if I can find them. Right, that didn't go sort of quite as planned. What have I done with it? It was just really fiddly um, to trim around the edges. So with the next two, what I've decided to, to do is um, draw the, the shapes on and then glue the washi tape um, over, the, over the top like this. And then I can cut this one out in my die cutting machine and that one I'll do um, by hand. Um, so again, I'm just grabbing random pieces of, um, of the washi tape. Oh, it's all stuck on the edges. Aren't these cute though? There we go. Right, so that's my heart. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? And then I'm just going to stick this one through the die cutting machine and then I'll Right, now this is causing me a bit of difficulty trying to work out how I can get these to look nice on the page. Um, I've cut some more shapes. Um, because I had used yellow scrap cardstock, I hadn't thought um, that... Um, you'd see the colour underneath and because they're slightly yellow they just don't they don't look right and um, so I'm going to save those and use those on something else so then I had a piece of black cardstock and I thought I wonder whether what that would look like but that's sort of gone gone grey so I'll use that on something else so then I just um, put them on white cardstock and they're much more vibrant so I'm happier with that but I just feel that um, against the blue background, they just look um, a bit lost. So I've grabbed a couple of pieces of white cardstock and I've had a play. I've used the same um, texture um, foam that I used um, before and stamped some more of the flowers in the same hydrangea um, ink, but it's too busy. So I'm going to stick with white. I have tried the white, but that just looks a bit plain. So I've decided I'm going to ink around the edges of the blue. So again, you see, it's just trial and error. Um, I don't get it right quite a lot of the, the time and it is just playing around and seeing what, what works. So don't be fooled by some people's videos where they seem to sort of get everything perfect first time round because I'm absolutely sure they, <laughs> they don't. Um, well, I certainly don't anyway, so... And I'd rather that you saw my mistakes um, and hopefully sort of, you know, it'll stop you from having the same, the same ones maybe. 
so I'm inking around the edges just to you see that looks better otherwise it was just you know too stark and too plain and then I need to position um, these on and I think I'm going to have the heart in the middle butterfly at the top and then the flower and I'm going to glue that down um, on my page um, and then I'll have to ink across the, the bottom again. I don't know why I did the top and the bottom, but um, so I'm going to go off camera and do Right, my page is finished now, so let me just talk you through what um, I've done. Um, I added my embellishments, as I said I was going to. Um, I inked around the edges of them before I glued them down to the page, but then they just needed something a little bit more. So I've used my Faber-Castell Pit Pen and I've drawn some stitch marks um, around the outside. I've added a strip of washi tape down the right hand of the page just to add some more colour on the right and just make the page a bit more co cohesive and, and balanced. And I've done stitch marks again on either side of the, the strip of washi. Um, then I've used one of the Tim Holtz ideology um, quotes. This is the pack that I bought in Hobbycraft last week. I think this was £4. I just want to make nice things. <laughs> I love that. Um, and then to again for just a bit more balance, I've punched out um, a, a heart out of the same white cardstock and drawn some black scribbly lines on the inside of it. I've inked with the pit pen again in scribbly lines around the outside of my quote. Um, and that's it. I really like that. Really simple, but um, I just think it's cute. I like that. And then um, I had quite a bit of leftover paint that um, you saw and I've scraped it off onto some cartridge paper. Um, with this one, I just used my palette knife and just put um, some of the leftover colours. I really like that colour combination, actually. I'm pleased with that. Um, these were the, um, the green and the blue that was dabbed on with the um, baby wipe that I had been using. And then finally, um, I had some um, red and orange left over and a tiny bit of blue and some black. And I've done that with the um, scraper tool as well. And Alex has managed to have an accident already with my replacement Dilusions paint and <laughs> couldn't resist fiddling with it and then spilt it all over the dining room table. So I just went and quickly grabbed another piece of cartridge paper to mop that up um, as, as well. So at least it hasn't gone to waste. And I was sort of using my um, palette knife to scrape whatever I could back into the jar. Kids, hey, who'd have them? <laughs> so that's it. Hope you um, like that. Um, let me know what you think. Um, in the comments below I'd really appreciate your feedback and um, and comments on on this one um, and hopefully you'll give me um, a thumbs up anyway take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon